Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start. I have some fun DIYs planned for you today, so let's go on inside and get started. So on a recent trip to Dollar Tree, I saw that they had all of their beach themed items out and so I decided to pick up several things to DIY with today. So this first project, we're going to take some of these napkin rings. These are pretty nice for $1.25. You get four of them. We're also going to take these clothespins. You get five of the clothespins in one package for the $1.25. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the backing of this clothespin. Some of them popped right off like you can see here, but other ones were really stuck on there and I didn't want to like break the pattern piece so I just went ahead and left that part on it's not a big deal we're going to glue them on to our napkin ring and you can't even tell once we get them on there and this is super easy project so all we're going to do is take our seahorses and we're making um six of them so we're going to do three seahorses and three sailboats and then that is it for this project I'm going to show you them styled with some napkins I think they're super adorable and I cannot wait to use them This next DIY craft idea is one of these tins that they had over in the nautical section. This one has a mermaid tail on it. It's very adorable. It had this like gray finish on it. I didn't really like the finish so I took some crystal Waverly chalk paint and just did a quick dry brush and then we're going to take the agave uh, Waverly chalk paint and go over our mermaid tail. I'm just dry brushing here not full coverage um, just so that I can get like some of the color on there. I really love how this tail ends up popping. Without it you really can't see the tail. Uh, I don't think they had any other like sh um patterns at least not at my Dollar Tree. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen these buckets that have other um, things on them besides the mermaid tail. But once we get this all um, dry brushed on there we're going to go ahead and make this a floral arrangement. So I went ahead and put some floral foam down in the bucket. Now here's a little hack for you. I always leave the plastic on especially this kind of floral foam. It's really messy if you leave a plastic on. You save like 90% of the mess and then you just glue it on in there and you can stick the florals right into the plastic and there you go. A lot less mess. So all of these florals came from the Dollar Tree. I kind of picked colors that I thought kind of reminded me of mermaids. So pinks and blues and yellows and whites. And that is it for this project. Let me know what you guys think. This is one of my favorites of the day which is kind of surprising. But let me know what you guys think. Hey, guess what? If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button. Let's get back to it. So for this DIY project, we're going to take this shell sign that they had in the nautical area and we're going to cover it with our agave waverly chalk paint. I had these signs left over from Easter so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the backing. In the front of the sign it also had these foam pieces that I uh, ended up taking apart because it wasn't laying flush with the sign. I'm going to take some scissors and just kind of get out the little staples that were left and then I'm going to use my sanding block just to sand down the where the holes were left from our staples. Once I get that all set up I'm ready to flip it over. We're going to be using this brown side so we're going to take this side and we're going to use some of the giant popsicle sticks to hold the sign together. I get my giant popsicle sticks at Walmart uh, but I will leave some down in the description box that come from Amazon if you want to pick them up there. This is a really easy way to make these signs stick together and I'm not going to be painting this one. I'm going to be using something different so that worked just fine. Now part of this in the back it does end up being able to be seen so if you don't like your projects to have an unfinished back you might want to put some paper on here or something after you get your craft sticks on. That way you won't be able to see any of the Easter parts. I'm just using this for myself so I did not cover the backing but like I said you can if you would like. So I used four popsicle sticks all together. It gave it a very secure hold and I was really pleased with how this turned out. 
So I got this mermaid fabric at the Dollar Tree. We're just going to wrap the sign with the mermaid fabric. It's super easy. We're just going to pull it really tight, flip our sign over, and we're going to hot glue our fabric. So I just kind of wrap this sign like I'm wrapping a Christmas present. I'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to go on both sides. I'm going to fold in the corners and then I'm going to fold it up just like I would a present. And then that way it's all nice and tight in the front and secure in the back. I'm going to go ahead and assemble my sign now. So I'm taking our shell that we painted with the Agave Waverly chalk paint and we're going to hot glue it and attach it here to our fabric. So I have two little holes here. I made some faux knots out of my nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, the white one. Uh, these end up being super chunky knots, but I love how it turned out anyway. Um, if you don't like the super chunky part, you could always use twine instead. But we want it to look like it's attached there. I'm also going to use this sticker, but I do change my mind and use this sticker for a different project later. Um, so I do have some pictures with the sticker and without, and you guys let me know down in the comments which one you liked better. I personally liked it better without the sticker, but let me know what you guys thought about it. So I got these starfish and the sand dollar also at the Dollar Tree. They're like a heavy duty plastic. They're pretty cute. We're just going to go ahead and attach these here to the right hand side of our sign. And then I wanted to go ahead and give this sign a hanger just in case I wanted to hang it up. So we're going to use some more faux knots and we're going to put those up in the corners of our sign. Doing the same thing, all I did was take the same piece of um, rope and we're just going to tie a knot. I tie a knot first because this white rope frays really easily. So we're going to go ahead, tie the knot first, and then we're going to use our scissors. We're going to cut off the end of our rope um, just so that we have the knots only, and then we're going to glue them up into the corners. I'm just using hot glue here, a pretty good generous amount, and you're going to want to hold on to that because like I said, these are pretty thick knots. Um, if you don't like the thick knot look, you can definitely use twine instead, but we're going to attach the rest of our nautical rope to the back of our sign. That way it looks like the knots are coming through our sign and then we get this really cute hanger. I've used this a couple other times on some signs that had holes and I really love how it turns out. You can use it with any size of ribbon or twine um, depending on the size of your hole and it definitely gives it a more high end look. So we're going to go ahead and hot glue this here on the end. I do add some masking tape here um, just to make sure the ends do not fray any more than they already are fraying. And then here is the sign. There are a couple pictures with the quote and then, a, and then one without. Let me know which one you like the best. So this project is inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. I went ahead and got a wreath frame and six packages of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. If you don't want to get those packages, you could get a larger quantity at like Walmart or at the hardware store. We're using hot glue here and I do not put hot glue on each of the, t um, like as I go around, I only do it at the beginning of my rope and at the end of my rope. I am pulling it pretty tightly here and I'm going to just keep pulling it now. I had some difficulties with this project so um, and I'll show you here at the end when I'm done but we're going to pull tightly and we're just going to hold on to it with our two fingers and then at the very end of each of the pieces of rope we're going to go ahead and attach it with some hot glue. You're going to want to hold that pretty tight and then I go ahead and I kind of move it around. So when I got to the end, you can kind of see in the right hand corner, there is it overlaps a little bit and that becomes a problem here at the end. But we're going to take this nautical rope that is in the beach area this year at Dollar Tree and we're going to be making a buoy or a buoy, I think I'm saying it wrong, <laughs> a life preserver. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do this in like the four areas of our wreath. 
Now, I really like how this turned out, and it's super cute with this blue and, like, natural color. Um, but see where it overlapped? I decided to go ahead and do this piece on that, and it ends up being a little bulky at the end. The other problem was that I was holding the wreath frame pretty tight as I wrapped my nautical rope around, and it gave it a little bit of a wonky shape at the end. You'll be able to tell in the pictures <laughs> that it's not quite a circle in some areas. Now this is the first time I ever made this project so um, if I made it again I definitely think you don't want to squeeze it as hard and definitely like when you come to the end I think I should have cut it and then wrapped it differently at the very end but you live and learn. So I got this anchor at the Dollar Tree as well and we're just going to add some hot glue here and we're going to just attach it right right to our wreath frame. That is it. I do think it's super cute. You can tell in the left hand corner it's a little bit not a circle but I love the colors together and if you wanted to make this definitely just know like you need to do something different when it overlaps at the end. So for this project we're going to do a beaded garland. You can actually pick up this entire garland in the beach area. It has these cute little starfish along with these little wooden square beads. I'm using the agave paint and my crystal paint both from Waverly and I'm going to cover the beads with the agave, agave and the starfish with the crystal. Now I didn't give them total full coverage. I also took this wood around from the Dollar Tree and I'm using the crystal color to cover both sides and all around the circle. So I decided to take that sticker and use it here which I love love how much better it looks on this color of paint rather than the other color because you cannot see the backing of the sticker here on this color of paint where you could on the agave color. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it right down here to our circle and this is going to be the end of our uh, beaded garland. I'm just going to take the garland that's already there. I'm going to string it through the hole there and I'm going to attach it to the garland and that is it for this project. I love this one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. So this project ends up being more of a hack than a project, but I picked up this cute little basket and jar at the Dollar Tree in the beach area. I also picked up these shells there in the crafter square area with the sand. We're just going to add about, I don't know, a half of the bag to our jar of this white sand. And then we're going to take a couple of the shells from this bag of shells and we're going to just add it to the jar. Super simple. Not a lot of effort goes into this project and it's adorable, you'll see at the end. I'm just going to take the rest of my bag of shells, I'm going to dump it into this bowl and I'm just going to kind of, I don't want to say fluff because these are, you know, glass or, or breakable, but you're just going to kind of spread them out and then that is it for this cute little display. Let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for staying to the end and watching this video with me. If you want to keep on crafting, watch this video next. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for being here. Bye.